okay, okay. <laughs> so yes, uh, I know it's the <clears throat> it's it's like everything is about to go sideways. We are like on the the edge. <laughs> oh boy. It seems like that, doesn't it? <laughs> so dangerous. Yeah, well, I have a kind of a different attitude about about the uh, nuclear situation. Because um, a while back, I was watching, um, his name is Greer anyway, and um, he released a bunch of things about, about um, UFOs and um, Extra extraterrestrials and things like that. And what he released was that um, there was interference. There, there were um, nuclear missiles that were released and they were interfered by extraterrestrials. And, you know, they, their pilots have all kinds of pictures. He has so many pictures, it's ridiculous. Like he has so much proof, it's, there's, it's beyond, beyond the beyond. He has so much proof. So my belief then is that we are not going to be able to annihilate ourselves with nuclear weapons because the extraterrestrials or off-worlders, whatever you want to call them, are not going to permit that to happen. And they've already interfered twice to that end. So all the talk, they can talk all they want and do all they want, but to me, it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Thank God. Thank, Thank God. You. you know, that's that's the end. That's I rest my case. <laughs> Thank you for so, that. So you're talking about <laughs> Stephen Greer, right? Um, yes, Dr. I am. Greer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I know about that too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there, and and it's not just him. Um, if you uh, welcome, actually, everybody to the Autumn Equinox celebration. And uh, it is the 22nd of, of September 2022. And I know we're just plunging into it. We're talking about <laughs> the threat of nuclear war. Yes, I know. <laughs> we live in, in, in interesting times. Um, if you, I don't know if anybody is subscribed on Gaia, that there's actually, um, I, I only saw the um, one person, oh, I forgot the name now. It's been, it's been maybe um, a month or so <clears throat> since I, I saw it, but uh, this guy is, has been talking to some in, insiders um, in the army and they actually confirmed that as well. So it's not just Stephen Greer talking about it. There are other sources talking that the, um, there are, uh, off-worlders that are uh, um, kind of keeping an eye on us. Like, like it, it depends on what it is. They, they the um, earth is being watched over um, so that, you know, not, not that we can't um, kill one another, but we just cannot destroy earth. Because if we want to kill one another, then that's um, human consciousness working things out. Whereas if we are destroying Earth, then it actually impacts a lot more than just Earthlings. So that's why when it comes to nuclear wars, um, they they would intervene, uh, or, or I or I should say they have intervened in the past. Not yeah. saying that the uh, ironclad absolutely going guaranteed going to intervene again, but they have yeah. intervened in the past. Yeah, exactly. So, put it that way. Yeah. And and so um, so what I part of the reason why I want to do the the autumnal uh, the 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 fall equinox celebration is that September. I don't know if you guys have noticed September is. Um, intense energy in a different way, in a very different way. <clears throat> in that um, August in intensity is something that we, um, it's, it's new, whereas September it's, it is actually, it's like when you're in the oven 
Like, so um, the past year or so, we've been in the office. <laughs> we are now getting to the point that we, we are almost being cooked. <laughs> we, we are <laughs> almost cooked, <laughs> meaning that we are ready to um, start the next phase of um, human development. So that's why it looks really scary right now. It looks really crazy right now. If your consciousness is um, <clears throat> still, if, if you still subscribe to fear mongering, then yes, it does not look good right now. On the other hand, if you know, if you really remember who you truly are, and and um, if you really truly remember who you who you are, then the first thing I would highly suggest is that um, you are powerful. Each and every one of us are extremely powerful. Um, yesterday, I joined a a um, a worldwide peace um, meditation, and the the organizers mentioned that I think it's when about 1% of the um, population, which is around like just under 9,000 people, when nine, just under 9,000 people come together in the meditation for peace, it already can shift whatever um, intent, whatever other intent is, if just I think it's 8,600 or 8,600 or, or 8,900. I forgot the, the exact numbers, but, but I do remember that it is just under 9,000 people come together to um, pray for peace. We already can change the, um, the course of history. So 9,000 people, come on. We have how many billions? Eight, seven, almost 8 billion people around there. So it's it's not a lot of people. So each and every person is, is so powerful. So yes, if you like to enjoy being um, dramatic, sure, go ahead, indulge in your fear. And I just want to, to suggest that the more you indulge in the fear, the more you actually make it become a reality. So um, if you don't want it to become a reality, then don't give that any energy. Don't give fe fear any more energy than it already has. Is, is, um, so that's one of the things I would like to talk about. And you know, lately I do, so much meditation, so much meditation, sometimes three, four times per day. And I've noticed that I started to watch, I still watching some news, but I watching it, I starting to watch it like a movie. I'm watching it like news and news. It doesn't change my mood. It doesn't bring any more um, bad mood to me, you know? And um, it's funny, my sister, it's confirmation that my vibration grow a lot. Did I tell you? My sister said that I'm very bad person. <laughs> very bad energy. What, <laughs> what, else? what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> But today, it's so interesting. Today, I feel so overwhelmed this, with this all um, meditations. Because lately, I mean, you know how I love meditations. I trying to get everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> I love to participate everywhere. And I love it so much. But all of a sudden today, I got so overwhelmed. I get so tired, unbelievable. So like, I just, you know, get to sleep and I slept the entire day. Oh, wow, okay. 
<clears throat> good, good preparation for tomorrow because tomorrow is actually the actual date of the um, the equinox day. Yeah, it's so, going to be even more difficult tomorrow. I don't think difficult is the time is the 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 description that I would use for it. It's powerful. I would say that it's a powerful day. Now is tomorrow going to be more powerful than today? I don't know. <laughs> it's not tomorrow yet, but I do know that today is a pretty powerful day. Uh, I'm just wondering about like uh, the 22 and the and the 2022. Those are all twos and twos and twos and twos. Does that have a significance too of its own? Um, it's a significant if you make it significant. So <laughs> as far as I know, no, no, okay. no okay, just not really, not not more significant than any other day, except that it is Franco's birthday. It yeah. So if, if really? he's still alive, then yeah. Wow. Today, Franco's yeah. birthday. So I was like, this morning, I I, I know, I, 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 yeah, I know his, his birthday is today. So it's like, so so this morning, I, I need to process, you know, sadness. So I was just letting myself to feel the sadness. And then really, um, like, I, I really felt his presence, very much so. And also very comforting as well, because uh, like, I know that he's watching over us, each and every one of us. So that's also very comforting. That's mm -hmm. what. So, and and also it is kind of significant in that um, the the equinox. Right. So, what is an equinox? An equinox is when the the sun hits Earth a certain way. I think it's perpendicular to the equator. So when the sun's ray and the, the equator is perpendicular, then it makes for it that, um, that the whole northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere, like the whole earth, um, we have roughly the same amount uh, of time for day as it is for night. So it's really a very balanced, um, in terms of day and night energy is very balanced so it only happens twice a year so it so and this year it happens tomorrow so roughly it's around the 22nd of september so it could be 21st or all the way to the 24th so this year happens to to fall on the 23rd of september which is the the fall of autumnal equinox so that's what an equinox is and and because of the way that the sun's energy hits earth it it creates balance so it's the, like the whole this whole um event is about balance and come to think of it we're we are like hitting so this really is the theme of the times as well is Everything is kind of hanging in the balance. If some crazy guy step one step over, then you know we're gonna tumble. And then if somebody um, go the other way, then it's a very different um, outcome. So it's about balance. I think um, that's one of the things that I want to to bring up for this celebration is really to come into balance within yourself because what we see outside of of us uh, is really a reflection of what's inside so when you come into balance within yourself then um there may be imbalances there may be crazy things going on outside however the things that would be the focus of your attention and the focus of your experience would be exactly what it is that mirrors what's inside yourself. So this, um, so this balance, it like when we when we actually actively 
pursue that balance within ourselves, then like we're doing our part, then, you know, this, there's no possibility for imbalance to show up outside of ourselves. So that's another point I want to bring up. So <laughs> comments. Um, uh, <laughs> that's well, what I need, balance. Yeah. Inside of me. It, it seems like an easy word to say, but not maybe so easy to get there. Yeah. yeah. I totally I, understand it's not easy to get there. Yeah. And um, however, it's it's really unlearning because we we've learned to uh, and so from 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 we were when we were kids, we've learned to give our power away. We, we we give our power to our parents. We give our power to teachers, to um, governments, to money, to whatever outside of us ourselves. We give up. We think. So, what do I mean by give our power away? Is that we think that they are bigger than us, and it's actually not the case. We are very important. Each and every one of us are very important because it only takes 9,000 people. Like 9,000 is not a lot of people, just 9,000 people. And it can change the world overnight. It only takes 9,000. So the, the question is, is to really ask yourself, will you be that person in this moment that I will be change the world. So, so what you can do is really just to balance yourself, just to find the balance within yourself. That's all you need to do. You don't have to save the world. You just have to find the balance within yourself. And it's, it's not easy. I'm not saying that it is easy. However, it's, um, it's doable. It's, it's absolutely doable. What do you need to do in order to find that balance? I don't know. I'm not you. I'm not anyone else. I can only um, know what's what works for me. And I go to those things that I know will bring me back to balance, like listening to um, certain kind of music, listening to certain kind of um, uh, uh, watching certain videos um, and going to meditation. Like, like those those are the things. So I just walk, taking a walk in nature, just being in nature. So so whatever those things may be is choose those things um, over other things that is going to throw you out of balance. So choose to bal to find that balance within yourself. And that's all you need to do to to change the world. I think it's to learn what what how what balance feels like. I'm not sure I've ever been in balance for any length of time. That's very smart from you. I, I don't think I think that's the biggest challenge ever to, to be in balance. Yeah. I feel when I'm in balance, it means that I'm in a good mood. I love everything and everyone. It happens a lot to me, especially when I'm not tired and, you know, mm -hmm. I do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Charlotte, very, very, very perceptive is to really notice what is, what balance feels like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So great. So just um, get clear within yourself what balance feels like. And when you, um, when you know what balance feels like is, is simply to um, notice when you 
um, not in balance and then do more of the activities that you know it's going to take you back to balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to help us, uh, Vini, tonight, like physically <laughs> balance our physical energy? Not yes, just yes, physical yes, energy. yes, yes. I, yeah, this is... I feel that my physical energy is so unbalanced. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, my plan Mentally, is... I'm not too bad, but physically, I, I just feel it. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, it's... Physically, each and every one of our body is actually going through a, a change. It's it's because, well, the energy is the the quality and the frequency of the energy that we are that's on Earth right now. It's something that we have not felt. This this body has not felt for millennia. So for for many many thousands of years, we haven't felt this intensity and high frequency for many, 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 many eons. So that's why our bodies are um, going, ticking, ticking, a, 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 you know, having a, a kind of not so easy time. And it's okay because, um, yeah, um, the energy, even though it is intense now, but it's, it is actually, um, it has been <clears throat> going up steadily and steadily and steadily for the past couple of years. Actually, for the last decade, it's been going up gradually and gradually and lately, not so gradually. So yes, our body actually have been trained to handle. So if you are still alive right now, that means your body can handle it. And so it's, it's really about um, being really very kind to your own body and if you your body um, tells you that it's tired then really pay attention to that and allow yourself to rest more and to drink lots of water and to really eat food that supports your body as much as you can and um yeah so yes be very good to your body and what uh, so let's see what I'm going to talk about today um yeah balance I talked about so what in what is equinox so I, I about the equinox I also want to mention that yes balance however um there is also the other side of balance is that it is um it is an ending and it's also a beginning so this energy because if you can see visually, uh, actually, let me let me do a share screen. Um, visually, see what what the equinox is. Um, okay, so let me see. I just want to find a picture of the equinox. So actually, this is the picture of the equinox that I found. So, like visually, if you just see it, it. Um, so it's like one half of of the earth is in sunlight and the other half is in darkness. So this is really what, so that's what is meant by this equal amount of um, equal time between light and dark. So this, this is actually what um, the equinox visually looks like. So uh, it happens twice in the year. You say, does this happen again in the springtime? It does. Yes. Okay. So around March 20, 21st, like around there. So it, there's another one. So then twice a year it happens. And it's, it's actually a, a very good time to, it's an ending because it is the end of summer. But then it's also the beginning of um the uh, you know autumn and winter time so so it's an ending and also in the beginning as well so it actually for me it's also the end of the um old regime the old system and it's it's really now that we we have 
all the energetic support and all like all the support to create the new things that we want in our lives so that's what I want to focus on so the support for this this evening after like after um this talk is well not really talk I, I actually just want to find out about everybody from everybody how uh, what's going on in your lives and um and also what I want to do is to uh, do a letting go of old programs because we learned that a couple of weeks ago so I just want to do to take everybody through that is to really let go of the old programs again and and then um, also to start to think about what it is that you want to begin to bring in that you want to experience in your life. How do you want the new earth to look like? Um, and start with how do you want your environment to look like? like just just how do you want to feel how do you want what do you want to actually experience and then um, as you have more time is to really start to Im like make plans make goals imagine the world that you actually want to see and live in and um yeah because the old one it's it's dying it's it's really on its last leg. It's not going to um, live for much longer, the old energy. And so all of these, because the old system, this is like the, their last, they're on their last breath. That's why there's so much fear mongering because they want to, um, they're going out with a bang. They're not going out with a whimper they're not going to concede to us they're going to fight to the very last second and like all you have to do is really know that it's crazy talk is to just yeah so don't focus on that focus on what you want to feel what you want to create in your own life and really use this energy because this this um equinox energy we only have it twice a year so uh, so use the energy of earth like with the whole earth energy behind you is to use this time to start something new start um to build plans for your own new beginning what it is that you want to see in your own life to to just if not take um action yet it may not be time to take action yet but just at least that have that vision in your own mind what it is that you would like to see what it is that you like to experience so dare to experience all of that so be be outrageous be absolutely childlike a child can dream way bigger than an ad adult can possibly dream because an adult is so programmed by the time that they get to be adults they forgot how to dream um to properly dream like a child so so then um, there'll be two meditation tonight. The first one is really to let go of the old program. And then, the, the, and then after we let go of the old programs, then really start to, um, start to think of what you want and to call in. And the next, the next meditation would be start to call in the highest vibration version of yourself just to align with that and allow that version of you to teach you and um, remind you how to actually dream again 
So I have a I have a question about energy actually. Yeah. Um, um I, I went for I went for a barbecue with my son and his wife and her parents. And I was really uncomfortable with them and they were uncomfortable with me. There seems to be a difference in vibration or something. And I went also with my son to the Rideau Center to a shopping mall downtown, which I never go to, I would never go to, but I went with him because he wanted to go. And I said, okay, fine, I'll go with you. And I thought, I think, I, I think I'm from another world. I, I didn't fit that at all. I felt so uncomfortable there. It's like everything was, was pushing you to buy things and everything was false and fake and phony. And I, I just felt really, really uncomfortable there. And like when I'm imagining, if I'm going to imagine a new world, well, my world also includes all the people, not just awake people, you know, and I'm struggling a bit with bridging this gap between people that are on a different vibration and, 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 and people that, that are like-minded like me. So I'm struggling a bit with that. Yeah, I, I can totally understand. Um, yeah, that that feeling. Um, <clears throat> I would suggest when you're feeling that is to just um, re remind yourself to be in your heart. I'm not saying that you you're not in your heart. I'm I'm just saying that um, to find that oneness that that part within you that recognize that it does not matter whether they are similar vibration or not they are each and every one of them even if they are totally different or at, at the really bottom of the the scale in terms of vibration however they are still defined they just yeah. they just choose to be in that vibration that's their choice and to really have faith that when it is their time to raise their own frequency they would do that and it would be easy for them to do because okay. you actually have you've done that you've done that for them for your family you you are the example of what raising your vibration looks like for them but you don't need to control them and make sure that they have to be this in order for you to feel comfortable no they don't they are eternal essence embodied as well and when it is their time they will make that change and until then all you can do is simply remember that they are loved one yeah okay. and re remember that it's um yeah well i i keep trying to i keep thinking well in some cases you know they were coming from their reptilian brains because they were forced into fear and so some of the things that they did and some of the things they said were coming from that fear base really severe fear base that was brought on by you know daily numbers and daily cases and daily whatever that it affected them, it affected some of my neighbors too, that, you know, were again, yeah. yeah, targeting, uh, you know, the unvaxxed and whatever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I have it here as well. This is my sister and um, she pulled on me. So, and she's starting to, you know, fight with me and, and telling me that I become, you know, bad person and bad vibration and everything. So I just, you know, block your telephone and I said it's until October 1st. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't take it no more. Why I have to, why I have to fight for nothing? You know, I said, just, that's it. No more. Yeah. Because she was going on and on and on and, and you know, 
texting me this big, blaming me and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what happens. Um, yeah, that that is what happens. <laughs> it's it's called projection. Um, I can. It's it's like they because they are the ones who they feel this fear of the unknown fear of whatever and they instead of resolving that within themselves they are just projecting everything onto you or whomever it is that's that they are um interacting with and your job <laughs> should you choose to do that is to allow it to simply fly over you and don't let anything stick to you <laughs> exactly you understand that yeah they the like all the bad things that they're saying to you they're actually saying it to themselves it's just that they their own ego is too fragile they can't say it to themselves they have to say it to you and all you have to do is just hold up the mirror and just let it bounce back to them and don't let anything stick to you <laughs> i also want to tell you tatiana because i went through five years of this uh, worries that you probably have some because of special circumstances where you came from that then uh, family members act differently out of fear and nervousness and we kind of go and attack each other uh, just because we feel vulnerable, we are scared, we are worried, you know, like we are in different state of mind. So I, I found that experience being very overwhelming at that time. Like my sister-in-law, God bless her soul, like she would just snap. I would, you know, like some things that we usually wouldn't do because we are in this extreme emotional stages because you can't just be million percent. Like you can be totally detached from what's happening. I know it's, um, and they don't have support what I have because for right now I'm so neutral. I'm, I'm not emotional about this at all. Uh, and when she talking, I feel that nervousness in her voice, like she's- uh, Forgive her, this is just mm -hmm. the worries, you know, forgive, this is not normal, like not, not normal in a, not, you know, abnormal, but it's just because- She doesn't want to have support. Way. She doesn't want to have support. See, she, it's her choice. Just forgive her just just ignore. forgive you i i still love you but on a distance <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's... but i'm going to say something uh just uh, because it was so unusual experience the meditation we had on monday i was a little bit reserved about that gentleman starting with c because this is being recorded i don't want to mention it and I was very kind of skeptical, reserved, uh, but I participated and towards maybe 20 minutes into meditation, I start getting image in, in Japan because I was concerned about my family member. And that was the new image. I've never seen it on anywhere. So I just remembered the image and went through meditation. The first thing after meditation, I opened, YouTube, that's the image that comes up. And it was I saw I, I like all my reservation is gone. <laughs> he yeah. taught me a lesson. So <laughs> yep. You are the one creating it. That's why. <laughs> I guess I had to create a proof that that is something you know good yeah it's uh it's yeah it's so it's this kind of proof that you know you actually create this this world that you you live in so you're in control that's why it's in your mind so that's why you see it 
the image. It was completely new, never seen before, no. And then I open my computer and the first thing that comes up, it's that exact image. Yeah. Like I was 10 minutes ahead of the time. Coincidence? I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> Can't explain. Yep. Yeah. Mimi, can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. You said that we have to use the energy of this day. So how to use it? So we like just feel some um, unbalanced, but how to use it, how to connect that energy and ask this energy to, to work with us. You know what I mean? To, to help us instead of put pressure on me. So what we are doing tonight is really let go of the um, programs that we're still running. And after you, after we've done that, then um, most likely, I'm not saying that you have no guarantees, but most likely you would actually feel lighter. The, the, the thing is really to go to balance. Go to, what do I mean by balance? Balance is just be in the moment. Don't think of yesterday. Don't think of tomorrow. Don't think of five minutes from now. Just be here in this moment. And when you're in the moment, um, you actually become at least twice, if not 10 times more powerful. Because when you don't remember the past, the past um, don't influence. Because when we when we create, when we want to, you know, attract the things that we want in our lives, usually we like like energy is so the energy that we send out, say, okay, I want X, Y, Z. But if I have, um, if I remember that, oh, in the past, when I have X, Y, Z, I also have, you know, uh, A, B, C. So, so then in my energetic field, uh, A, B, C and X, Y, Z would be kind of together. So an A, B, C mm, could be things that I don't want and X, Y, Z is what I want. But then ABC is things that I don't want. So when you're in the moment, though, you let go of the past. You don't um, let the, the future influence you. You're just in this moment. What do I want? Then in this moment, it becomes very powerful because you are not burdened by past experiences and all that um, inconsistent energy so that's like being in the moment is when you are most balanced so that's that's one of the the ways i find it's easiest for me to stay balanced is just in this moment if i if i feel thirsty go get a drink if i'm hungry go find something to eat but in this moment, what do you want to experience? And if you, you want something that you cannot get your hands on in this moment, then just imagine experiencing that, having that in your life and hold that image in your mind of you already experiencing that. So that's does that help? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions, suggestions before? Something, we... something that came to mind, I'm just wondering. Someone had told me one time, you only have to ask yourself three questions constantly through the day to be in touch with your own self. And I just, I just, it just came to me just now. I don't know why. Usually I can't remember shit, but I remember this. <laughs> And the three questions were, what do I feel? 
like, like in this moment and asking yourself this often during the day, what do I feel? What do I want and what do I need? Is it possible that, that these three things could keep you sort of in touch with your own self, with your feelings and then with, with your needs? Because you're asking what you want and then what you need? What, what do I feel? What do I need? And what do I feel? What do I feel? Yeah. What do I feel? What do I want? And what do I need? Mm. Um, that is one way. So do that. Try it out. See how that works for you. Because there is no one size that fits all. Because those three questions may work for you. It may work for the, that that person who, who mentioned it to you. But right. it may not work for someone else. So the best I suggest is to use those three questions. See whether that helps you at all. If right. they do, then go ahead. Those, those would be your three questions. If not, then tweak it around. Like play around with different questions or different ways. Well, I, I tried to, to go to my, my senses before. I've tried to say, okay, be in the minute. Okay, what do I, what do I smell? What do I feel? Like, what do I see? Um, you know, um, like to, to just examine my senses at the, at the time just to see if I could get into the moment. But then I miss my emotions. And usually it's my emotions that are driving everything. Mm -hmm. Keeping me from being in the in the moment, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, just yeah. Thanks. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Any other comments? Questions? Okay. In that case, let's uh, let go of some programs, shall we? Let's get lighter, and then we can. Uh, and, and also, um, I would suggest, you know, don't, don't try to have any idea of what you want right now until we actually let go of some baggage. Because um, what I find is when, when I'm balanced, what I want is very different from when I'm not balanced. So let's, let's balance ourselves first. Let's do that. And then when we, uh, when we are more balanced, then, then really start to ask ourselves and get our higher self to teach us what's, what it is that we really want to experience. 